on it is thing and welcome to this video and today we are going to be taking apart this plants right here this is my mom's uh cactus orchid plants whatever you call it she loves it but it never blooms for her and also she has it in this shitty shitty dirt dirt thing pot that retains a lot of moisture a lot of water which sucks for her <laughs> so she's been killing her plants <laughs> <laughs> oh dear god okay anyway so we're gonna take it apart and replant it into the coco choir mix and hopefully it'll do a lot better and we're also going to get rid of these disease leaves too um and make it look much much better for her because she loves them she loves going into gardens and buying like different color ones and uh this one's only bloomed once this year which sucks and she always starts like feeding it like uh, bloom type of stuff and she doesn't understand that these need to bloom after they finish sleeping they'll sleep they'll bloom voila she doesn't understand anyways let's go and do that all right let's remove all this stuff
<clears throat> Whew, that was a lot of cleaning up to do. Uh, so we got all these, which now I gotta clean up all of the ends here with a little makeup brush and then we're going to soak them in water to kill any of the pests that's living inside hopefully and then we'll replant we'll leave it to dry for a day and then we'll replant it into uh, the cocoa choir mix uh, as you can see you saw that this was in pure potting soil so there was a lot of moisture that was being retained for this poor uh, orchid cactus plant whatever you call it uh, which sucks because like once you water you overwater and it just dies and my mom blames it on something else he doesn't really understand it which is fine you know let her son take over her cactus orchid cactus which she loves right so and that's quite a lot and a lot of the time like there's tons of mealy bugs everywhere um, because like she can't really see like there's one right here there's like right here I don't know if you can see that but it's right here right here itself yeah see right there so it's got to clean everything up and dump all the soil out and move it into the cocoa choir mix and hopefully it'll do a lot better that we also clean up all the mealybugs here we just kind of water it right and when we move it into the cocoa choir mix we can water it more often uh, that means also we wash away all the eggs, all the pests as well in the coke car mix and hopefully for the best. So yeah, let's go and clean that up and put this together. Okay, so some of the smaller leaves are here being soaked. Uh, they're just, I'm just drowning all the pests whatever's in here for about 10, 15, 20 minutes. The rest of it's actually in the tub because uh, it's, it was really long, so it wouldn't fit in here anyways. Uh, so we're just gonna marinate these in water for 15, 20 minutes. So that way I can kill any of the mealybugs that are still alive. They we're just drowning them to death, okay? Don't worry, this doesn't hurt the plants. But if it does, it's a new one. <laughs> so uh, I finished drowning them in water uh, to drown out any of the pests that's remaining hopefully and wash them all out uh, now they're just gonna sit here to air dry for a day or two and then we're gonna go ahead and pot them into the cocoa choir mix which I'm gonna dilute a little bit more and add more, more cocoa choir um, but yeah hopefully it works out for my mom and we'll see within a few months Okay, well, it seems like there is an ambulance being rushed to a certain place right now because I, I saw that's really, really loud. Wow. Okay, so it seems like someone was needing medical emergency because there was an ambulance rushing by. Anyways, um, so I finished mixing the Cocoa Choir mix right here. This is Cocoa Choir mix. You can find the link in the description down below, but I've added more cocoa car to this mix because I kind of needed it. Uh, but yeah, so this is just cocoa car with like uh, pumice, perlite, whatever it is. Uh, I use cocoa car versus soil because it's more aerated um, and then it has less of the organic pathogens. That's why. Uh, so yeah, that's, and I've already pre mixed it for this, so. We're gonna, we're going to, we, as in I, am going to, oh, uh, there, there goes the ambulance again. We're going to plant all my mom's orchid cactus in here. Uh, I've already finished drying it for a few days. And then I've also cut out all the, uh, the, the ones that are bad. So the ones that was, Infested with mealybugs, um, I pretty much cut it all out. Um, yeah, and and um, you know, propagating these are easy. You just kind of leave them in here and just let them, just let them be. It's water once a week. Um, I switch over to cocoa choir because it's it allows the plant to absorb water easier 
and uh, you can water it's the saturation of the water in the um, what you call it uh, in the mixture is easier versus the soil and my mom was using like heavy duty um, heavy duty uh, what was it potting soil so lots and lots of stuff was like getting over water she didn't understand that you know she loves this plant but this is like this is like a succulent right it's a cactus succulent kind of thing which she thinks is like a normal plant kind of stuff so that's why i just wanted to redo it for her so now i'm just gonna all this in pack it in pack all this stuff in don't worry about it being messy we're not here for prettiness right <clears throat> we're just here to like pack all this stuff in so that way she can enjoy these things she loves them she loves them like in our old house these would be in the I believe it was at the north facing window and it would have like north or what's what what was it uh no east facing window and it would get sun all morning long and then it would bloom because like it's uh by the window in the cold and then summer and then it just blooms so she's always complaining it doesn't have enough sun I'm like that's not how it works mother but, you know my mom ouch these things like they hurt because like they have like little thorns on them they're not thorns aren't that bad it's just like it's a little prickly you know what I mean it's a little tad bit prickly I know it's it's not it, it was like really huge before but now it's like very very tiny now but sometimes you just have to cut back on stuff right cut back on like uh the whole entire plant just because it's okay and then all these we can just like stiff stuff in don't worry about all that stuff that in don't worry just stuff that in stuff everything in man yeah, so all these we can just like just kind of put them in like this and forget about it. Yeah. That'll be fine. No worries. There we go. Yeah. So just keep stuffing this in. Yeah, all you use to let them be. And they will just like grow new roots grow new establishments you know nothing to worry about I'm not gonna feng shui this or anything or like carefully put this here there and there whatever as long as it's I guess like Laura Eubank says as long as it's standing up you've done your job <laughs> pretty much she's always like putting these in like uh, rooting hormones just so that it roots faster but I, I've never used rooting hormones maybe I'm just odd, an oddball maybe Maybe I am just an oddball and I just don't do those type of rooting hormone stuff. People like, people swear by them, but not me. I just left the fee. What else is there? Hey, there's tons of these. Put them here, here. You know, this mound in the middle, which we're gonna probably shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Oh no, copyright. <laughs> copyright. No, no singing. No singing for this copyright materials. You know, right? Okay, anyways, I think that's gonna be it. Uh, I'll show you the progress probably next month or whenever this whole entire thing becomes established. And yeah, it should be more than fine. Yeah, I cut like all the dead stuff and all the disease stuff out because it needed to be cut. It's so old too. Guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video cleanup of my mom's plants. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Love ya. Bye.